Okay, so I'm going to do a video here on the uh, um, pressure testing my Banshee engine. I uh, wanted to show why this is important and why you should do it after you put together a new setup. These are brand new cases. All new gaskets, seals, and everything. Um, basically found tubes that would fit, sealed them off. I forgot I had the fuel pump port, so I had initially put a port here, um, so I s ended up soldering that end off, just because I didn't want to buy new stuff. Um, I marked here to make sure those aren't slipping once I pressurize it. Uh, I got these end caps for the exhaust ports. Um, Got it. I'm gonna do six psi for six minutes. Basically, right now <clears throat> I've already done the test, and I'm losing I'm losing a pound a minute. So I wanted to figure out exactly where. Initially, I was losing six psi within one minute. Um, I had a really bad leak, and it was here at the main drive gear at the keyway which is a common spot um, I initially did put silicone on it but it still leaked severely so I pulled everything back apart and I Johnny cakered that the cranks pretty much the keyway and then the inside of the gear both gears and then put a nice bead on the outside under the washer and then sealed it up as per the instructions I hand tightened it uh, waited one hour and I torqued it to spec and that sealed that up perfectly fine there's no issues now there um, but my loss now is coming from all around here I have soapy water, probably three tablespoons of soap into that. It's pretty heavy um, ratio of soap to water, so I get a lot of suds. Shake the bottle up really good. And then I just spray lightly around the perimeter of the base gasket. And you'll start to see start to see bubbles forming you can see there actually see it coming out and this is what this is what one psi per six minutes leaks down at which to me is quite a quite a bit I'm really surprised actually so Looks like my cylinders aren't true, um, so I'm either gonna gonna figure out what I want to do if I want to seal it with silicone, which isn't really the correct way to do it, but I've done it in the past and it's worked fine. Just put a really light coat on both sides, seal it back up, and and I've had no issues, which is probably what I'll do here, so I don't have to mess with the port timing and figuring all that out by cleaning up the cylinder but yeah looks like I got a leak here and just wanted to show that so you can take soapy water I also always silicone both sides of both gaskets and I know in the mechanics world that's not um, you know it's not really what you want to do with a gasket because you're basically creating another surface for it to leak but with the Banshee stuff, I've noticed this time and time again, and um, it's just, look at that, I'm even getting a leak right out of the main stud. And that's actually, that's a pretty good one. That's more than, it's actually more than the base gasket through that stud. So, um, it's a lot to learn, a lot of a learning lesson even for me again of why you do this to the to the engine
after you get it built. So I'm going to be pulling the cylinders back off and addressing this issue now that I've found where the leaks are coming from. Uh, just wanted to put that out there.